Hey, what up guys, so 30,000 here, back to another video. You probably may know by these tags what it's going to be on already. Yes, it's about the recent <sighs> situations that have happened in the Smash community. There's a lot of accusations of sexual assault, I think right here too. The Smash drama explained, there was like a lot of things, a lot of things about like the sexual assault. Many of the OG players, many of the best players I've seen in everything. And so many people were accused of sexual assault, especially Zero. Zero. I was just a fan of him. I was a real fan of him. I subscribed. And, oh, I love like you would look right here, but that's even right here. You that meaningful. Look at these dislikes, man. And you turn off all the comments because everyone just kept pestering him and pestering him about the situation. But before we even get to this, let's go first. So we have Nairos and Zeros. I know Kate and everyone else did, but these are the two main people that I've seen. These, this is a story. Like Contempo drops zero following sexual harassment confession. Tempo has severed all ties with Smash player Gonzalo Zero Barrios following his admission to various instances of sexual assault. The organization revealed the decision in a statement posted to Twitter on July 4th. Zero was previously a Smash Bros. Ultimate content creator and live stream for Tempo. He was notable for his 56 tournament win streak in 4. That's from November 14th to October 2015. And I think Nairo beat, destroyed that, destroyed his streak. However, Zero recently became under a following many six, other six and conducts. So many people here we already covered. So, just let me mention this now. Zero lost uh, any temples severed all ties with Zero, and NRG severed all ties with Nairo. Thanks to this. And there was like a. Hold on. Zero's confession. I think I'm trying to remember. That was the one. I have to come clean right here. So here it says, "Hey, I can't sleep. I just can't take this back and forth. I don't think it makes sense to keep this going. I just want this all to stop, and for me to at least want tone. I also want people to stop defending me. I don't deserve it. So I'm guessing people were defending him." Cause I guess at the time, I guess when people, when you first brought it up, I guess some people were like, what are they talking about the fuck? But then this happened. Katie, the screenshot you guys were wondering about the ice cube thing. I'm not even sure about that, what that is, but it's true. The claims that Katie made are true in general. There are no graphic pictures of anything of the sort, but it's unforgivable regardless. I just want to be just clear, just, I want to just be clear about it here. There's one more girl I spoke to in 2014, period. A bit earlier. Her name is Laura. Originally, she never told me she was underage. She says she was older than me. I have a screenshot of this, but it doesn't matter nor make it better. But years later, she contacted me and said she was actually underage. So here, you have someone who lied about their age. And Zero didn't know, but still. It says he apologized to her privately recently and told her I feel absolutely terrible about it. There's no graphic pictures of anything either that were exchanged and she's from another country. So the 2014 one, it looks like it wasn't totally, I mean, Zero had some fall in this, but it wasn't like 100% his, but the first one definitely was, yeah. I really just want to tone on, I just want this discussion to stop. I'm not a good person, and it doesn't matter how terrible my life was, I did terrible things, and that's the end of it. I don't deserve for people to defend me. So if you guys don't know, Zero didn't have, really have a good childhood. If I remember, I think he had a depressing childhood, he had his mom... I think he only had his mom with him, his dad, I forgot. It was like an abusive relationship or something like that. Well, but more on that. Anyways, I'm working right now to obviously lose my sponsorships or any type of thing like that. I'm obviously not making more videos in general right now. Love you guys. Please don't be like me. And please don't forgive me either. I won't forgive myself either. So here, the, the sexual allegations that... Zero is accused of turned out to be true, which I still can't get over that fact. I thought when I first saw this, I thought I was like, wait, what? I was just confused. But here, there's the Twitter right here. 
Man, you should see the comments, bro. <laughs> the comments are just crazy. They go from like wanting him to die. He wanted him to go to jail and everything. Hold on, I'll be right back. Sorry about that, I had to get my charger. But anyways, look, all these comments are just fucking insane, man. I never knew Zero did this. In fact, nobody did it. I remember this was back in 2014, I think, he said. Yeah, 2014, he said. He spoke to another girl. This Katie girl, I don't know what he spoke to her. But I guess she was underage, too. <laughs> Sorry about that, son. Look at this, thought better zero. This should have never taken place. No, actually, highly in my dudes can be you one day. Why taking three of these? <laughs> and a lot of people, a lot of people just want to cancel him. Just want him canceled and everything. But that's just crazy. I just still can't believe Zero did this. It's crazy, man. <laughs> but even with that, leave the guy alone. We already know. <laughs> but now we go on to Nairo. I'm this is Captain Zack. I think the guy who was sexually assaulted by Nairo. It says, if you're a family member of mine, do not read this post. Blah, blah, blah. I started playing in Smash tournaments when I was 12 years old. Yes, a lot of people, a lot of kids were able to join tournaments. Three years later, when I was 15 years old, I had my first sexual encounter at a Smash tournament. See, already a sexual encounter. CEO Dreamland 2017, Friday night, April 14th, was the first time anything happened with Nairo, him being 20 years old at the time. Luckily, I recorded all my actions with someone on Discord. They're verifiable with timestamps that, co that coincide with others who I've messaged. So basically, he has evidence. Of course, he has the evidence that Nairo did what he did. He said, even though in these messages, I am the one initiating, I would just like to remind you I was 15 years old at the time. Nairo was 20, going on 21. I am not going to be manipulated into feeling like this is my phone any longer. And these are the pictures, but I'm just not going to show you guys because I'm probably <laughs> going to get fucking taken down. <laughs> so you guys check it out on your own. I'll put an inscription. You guys put it on your, you guys read it on your own. I'm not gonna get in trouble. <laughs> this album contains all the evidence I had to share with everyone. I have asked for the consent of all persons I have screenshotted the conversations of. I blurred their names and profile pictures out. I described all the events that transpired during the weekend of CEO Dreamland and verified the actions with other references or a tweet, message, etc. This album also contains all of the evidence I, that I have of Nairo and his brother sending me money to keep me quiet through PayPal. They attempted to use a fake PayPal name in hopes no one else would be able to track the money back to them. However, I can verify that the Jeremy Toga PayPal was indeed Nairo's account by matching up the amount of money. I had asked for my tests for my test messages with Nairo. Also, by doing him my part by not telling anyone about our relations, I had received financial help from him. The first two thousand that I was sent was equal to the amount that I would receive from my sponsorship had I not been dropped. This was after the ally situation came to light. Nairo immediately started calling me because some people were trying to bring our situation to light. These are the July phone logs. The second phone logs, August 13th, a confirmation of him sending me $2,000 after calling me on the phone. <laughs> we started using phone calls as our only means of communication and he told me to delete our messages with him on every platform. My screenshots of the calls and messenger are because I haven't repaid my phone bill, so I only have Wi-Fi available on my phone, no cellular service. The only messages I currently have of our messenger conversations. He called me today about 1240 and told me I was crap punk's Twitter, told me to reply to the tweet that I did. He called me right after he posted his tweet and proceeded to repeatedly call me after I did not pick up his call. Nairo did not run his exact wording by me for this, for this tweet. And he painted me to be something completely different than what he told me he would say. I'm tired of living a life of lies. I'm tired of covering up for someone else's mistakes. I would like to say, however, that I never once threatened Nairo with coming public about my relations with him. The only reason I am saying my truth now is because I can't take it anymore. The stress of having this experience weighing on me for three years of my life is too much for me to bear. I would like to deeply apologize for lying to you all with my past tweets today, and I just ask for your forgiveness. I do not want to cancel Nairo, nor do I wish him ill in the slightest. I just want to live the truth. So here, he's basically just admitting what Nairo did, but he didn't want him to get like lose anything or whatever, but... 
that's pretty much too late because, like I said before, an RG cut ties with him. Ties with Nairo, so he's no longer. I don't think he's able to even participate in tournaments. Zero Nairo can in Kitaro. So right here, you go on Zero's page. Recent video. Look, look at these dislikes, man. Ever since that incident, everything just switched around. It's just not the same anymore. Hold on, would you ever... Trying to see the comments. There we go. This is when everyone pesters him on this. I'm sorry, Zero, goodbye. You goofed up, Zero. It's like, Zero, I miss you. Please don't commit die. He's like, well, baby, bro, you were my hero. I really hate what you did, but still, thank you for all the moments, all the laughs, all the videos to take my notes. You only did bad things in the past, but that doesn't mean you will do bad things now. Look at this. Oh my god. It's just not the same, you know? It's so weird. Like, one moment, zero, they're making videos, everything's fine, and then the next moment, it's just all gone. That second person he talked to lied about the age. The first one he admitted that he knew. He still has over a million. That will probably change soon. But then if you look at Nairo's new video. Nairo lost a lot of subs, by the way. Oops. He lost a lot of subs. A lot of subs. He has like, what, 200? Optimum is here to keep you. No. So look at that dislike to like ratio. Like the list dislike ratio. 5.2 thousand liked it. I guess that was before the payment. Now 6.6 thousand because of the incident. And so many people are just talking about the situation, still bringing it up. But it's the community. It's not the game. It's just. I thought Smash Bros. is supposed to be a fun game for casual and competitive. I just never knew. Me, I never knew anything like this ever happened. Like, I didn't know there was any sexual tensions or sexual relationships or anything like that during Smash communities like that. I thought, I mean, let's be honest, not all of us knew about this till now. A lot of us. <laughs> if you go by newest comments, oh my god, bro. I felt like I've lost a close friend. Goodbye, Nairo. I miss who I thought you were. I um, miss whatever. This is just it's crazy. Cause I have I, I didn't subscribe. Of course I wasn't. You saw I'm not a subscriber to Nairo, but I would watch his videos once in a lifetime, once in a while, and I would really enjoy them. And Zero, I just loved his content too. It's just. It's just I can't, I just can't believe. Anything like this happened, I just can't believe it. <sighs> Even Keitaro was a part of it. It's just, it's just not the same, you know? And yes, it, right here, it's like who knew Nairo was gay? Even if he's gay, it still doesn't matter. Gay or not, he's still a person, so even if he's gay, I don't think any different from him, but of course everyone else will now because of this allegations and shit. So many people are just god just spamming his com the comment section saying, Oh, you're a bad person, oh blah blah blah, all this shit. And then there's some people who still like it doesn't matter. Like I said, still think you're truly a good person, Nairo. And if you ever come back, I will always be here to fully support you. <laughs> Time to repent, brother. But yeah, them dislikes, bro. But yes, 2020 is officially the worst year ever. Yes. We're already in like the second half. It's already July 2020. And it's already been the worst fucking year. 
system. But come on, guys. Come on. Why? Why do you do this? Why does anyone even think of doing that? <sighs> me, me personally, I've never went to tournaments and I don't think I'm going to any tournament anytime soon. <laughs> At least those kind of tournaments. Me, I've always, I played Smash ever since I was like, what? Maybe seven around that time? In my first gas game with Melee, I just played casual. I just played for fun. I didn't play for I didn't play competitively or anything, so I wasn't even aware of like the Smash community and all that stuff till like way later on, like a few years ago. And then I played Smash Four when it came out and everything. I played well. Part of me was competitive, part of me was casual, but I didn't go to like tournaments and stuff. I'd always play online and shit. Smash Ultimate, you probably saw my videos. I had two. I went to two online tournaments. I like two two online opens. I got I placed pretty high. Not bad for someone who just started. But me, I just say the game is fun. And I just hope this doesn't change the perspective on Smash itself. Because let me remind you, Nintendo didn't make up any of these tournaments. We made them up. Because so many people love the game. But it's sad because a lot of the people I watch are now gone. It's just... This has changed over a matter of a few days from something that happened over five years ago. Five years ago, three years ago, all this time ago. And they didn't bring it up till now. It's just, it just doesn't feel the same, you know? <sighs> just ain't the same. And now we have like Samsora, we have Mewtwo King, it likes. We have MKLeo now, Little Z and Poppet, Hopcat. Those three I watch a lot of. <laughs> I love them. It's just crazy what the t community has gone to. I don't know what people were thinking at the time. It's just crazy. It's just I saw Smash as a kid. I just saw Smash as a fun game. Better to play, just all fun. But I didn't think anyone, it, the tournaments were... Or another reason for people, or a reason for people to get to have like sexual assaulting, sexually assault each other, and so commit statutory rape. It's just egregious. I just, I just gonna tell you this, guys. If you ever go to Smash tournaments and stuff, don't do anything like they have done. Don't do anything like that. Me, I just still can't believe Zero, Naira, and all these other people done their stuff. But I'm going to be honest right now. I'm going to tell you this right now, guys. Even I don't like them for what they've done. But I still can't find myself just to hate them right away. Because a part of me inside still like likes their content and everything. Still likes them as a person. I mean, this is something they've done years ago, too. So they probably learned from it. But they should have maybe brought it up before. In fact, I wish Zero hadn't started it. Nobody has started everything, anything. Smash is just a fun game. And people should just be able to play it. And there shouldn't be no fucking sexual allegations and shit. It's just, come on. It's just, uh, what, what has happened? What has happened to us? What has happened to the Smash community? It's just crazy. It's crazy. So, we lost so many amazing Smash players in a matter of, what, a few days? They were like heroes in our eyes, and now they're just the complete opposite. They're just seen by us as, like, they're seen as monsters now, sexual predators now. And people have spanned the older Zero and Nairo videos about what they've done. They spam it's like, oh, why did you do this? And it's like, oh, you should go to prison and all that shit. But, but if I'm being honest, I don't really pay attention to Smash community to like that because I don't like to deal with drama too much. I'm just not that type of guy all the time. Well, sometimes, but in this regard though, which I'm not saying that, oh, it's nice what they've done. Oh, they commit, it's just a mistake they made. Oh, it's just a little mistake, it's nothing. 
but also at the same time, it's just can't get myself to hate them. Like hate them, hate them. Of course, I'd say they should spend their time in jail or whatever, whatever they need to do. But part of me just doesn't can't hate them or anything because I just know them for just too long now. I don't know what we've gone to, but we've got to. It's just, it's not going to be the same. All I'm going to say is that in the next week, it ain't going to be the same. Because then we have this coronavirus pandemic, then we have all these allegations, and then we have all this and that. It's just too much, and all these killings of all these three black people. It's just too much going on in this year. Too much is going on. It's just, it's too much, guys. It's too much. Well, guys, I'm going to put these tweets in the description so you guys can look it over yourselves. Because I don't want to get conned down for sure, like sexual shit and stuff. So, nah. So, you guys look at the rest of it. Okay. But I just can't believe people I've known are just, we're just sexual predators and everything. I just can't believe it. I cannot believe it. Well, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video, and hopefully, you guys don't do any of the things that it, that uh, they have done. Because all of you guys, you, we are all better than this. I'm gonna say this right now: all of us, we're all better than this. We shouldn't even be thinking about that, thinking about all this sexual assaulting and everything. We shouldn't even be thinking about it. Zero Nairo to them. All I can say is I hope everything goes well. Hopefully there's a time where you eventually come back to making videos everything after everything is cleared up and make and then completely change your life around to everyone. That's all I'm gonna say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and probably notice how I just don't feel like excited or anything. It's just it's just hitting me, you know. Well, I'll see you guys next time in peace.